Um, I want to ask you about the mathematics that yeah, you just sure. you've discussed before. Yeah. I have a some somewhat background in physics. Uh, what is when you talk about you've mentioned before with Bakrat, there are things that you understand as far as an edge, and I know that it's proprietary. You don't want to say what specifically those things are, and you understand there's a lot of people who just don't believe this. Mm -hmm. They don't think that there is an edge in Bakrat. Uh, can you explain? Is it is it fractals? Are you using like fucking uh, like the golden ratio? Like what what is where is some of this this uh, and I'm asking from a mathematical standpoint because one of the things, so I study statistics, I use an options trader professionally. One of the things with the normal distribution, you have these fat tails and those fat tails don't make sense when you deal with equities, right? You have a 23 standard deviation move, the 2008 crash, crash but with cards that doesn't happen. With cards, there is only a finite number of outcomes that can happen. Like even in poker, right? You, there's only so many times, there's only a highest level hand and a lowest level hand and you can't go any lower than that. Does that make sense? Sure. So how, how, how are you able to beat the system in, in some of these games? I have to be a little bit cautious not to overshare mm -hmm. because of the proprietary natures. Let me just consider for a second. <clears throat> I'll tell you a story how it started. Okay. So the story goes that I was, um, there's a guy, um, I don't want to say where he's from, but he's, you know, it's from like a Midwestern state, heavy accent, old gentleman. And we would play in Vegas. Neither of us lived in Vegas. But every weekend, we'd find ourselves sitting together at the same table, playing Baccarat in the same casino. And this casino was pretty empty. I think I'm the, not, not I think, I know for sure I'm the biggest player this casino has ever had in Vegas. It's in Vegas. I'm the biggest player they ever had. And this guy was, I think, ranked like in the same like tier. Mm. Although, although he's substantially lower than me, but, but still in that tier because it's not like a giant casino. So somewhere we, it's like a local watering hole that he and I like to go. So every weekend we'd sit together and we'd play, and over like, you know, a year or something like this, we just became friendly. He plays $500 a hand, he never wavers, he flat bets. Which game is this? Baccarat. Baccarat, okay. And we're playing, and he says, uh, he goes, you know, Mick, he goes, the game's really different now. I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, um, he goes, you know, I've been playing Baccarat for 50 some odd years, and it used to not be like this. I said, what do you mean? How can the game change? It's the game. Uh, you count to nine, basically. Yeah. And he goes, let me tell you. He goes, you see that? And he, I don't want to say what, but he points to something on the table. I say, yeah, he goes, do you think we had that 50 years ago? He goes, that technology didn't even exist. So, okay, makes sense. He goes, you see that over there? I said, yeah, he goes, that didn't exist 50 years ago. He goes, you see the way the dealer is handling this with the pit boss and the cards? I said, yeah, he goes, he goes, you think they knew that 50 years ago? He goes, 50 years ago, you could win in this game. You can't win anymore. Oh, wait, are you just... Are you intimating that the casino is taking an edge and you're using their edge against them? That's exactly right. Okay, so the casino is taking liberties with the way Baccarat is played. And because they're taking and if they're taking those liberties and you're aware of those liberties, you can take advantage of them also. That's exactly. So right. the, the casino is now taking the distribution outside of the normal range and then you're using wow, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Mathematically that makes sense. Okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. And so the story goes on, and again, I, can't, I think roughly I have to end the details of the story here, but he said to me, he goes, I'm going to prove to you right now that what I'm saying has validity. And I said, okay. And he goes, how many cards are in a deck? And I said, 52. He said, how many decks are in a Baccarat shoe? I said, eight. He goes, you know how many cards that is? I go, yeah. He goes, okay. He goes, what do you think the odds are that such and such pattern can repeat itself out of all those? Out of two cards, 416? What? At all those options. He goes, How, what are the odds that the same pattern will repeat itself twice? I said, I don't know, like one in a billion. Yeah.